Regards to any keeper dealing with pressure, if you can imagine they've had a string of poor performances, they're not sure of their teammates fully believing in them, and their confidence is quite down, what can the coach and what can they do themselves to turn this around? OK, firstly, it's important that the coach involves players and the goalkeepers as one in the sessions, so they treat them exactly the same, give them the same kind of challenges, give them the same kind of feedback. As a player, it's important that you immerse yourself amongst the other players and conduct yourself in exactly the same manner as anyone else in the team would. Trying to understand other people's roles, trying to get other people to understand your roles should leave you in good stead to give you understanding between positions, between player relationships, in order to, to help your performance and also that will help, then help your confidence. Excellent. With regards to the distribution, obviously some younger players will struggle at some point with goal kicks and we do quite often see the big centre-back taking the goal kicks. At what point in the goalkeeper's development do you think that that should become something that is not allowed? I think it's important that the coach and the goalkeeper come up with a more inventive way of taking a goal kick, whether that means a retreat line, whether that means the goalkeeper passing out and receiving it straight back and some relative support from the other players. Getting the defender to take the goal kick will fix the here and the now. Involving the goalkeeper and the other players in finding a way out of the back will definitely have more longevity in its setup and in its execution.